so I welcome you all for this tutorial on NX cam so today we are going to see drilling operation so here there is a plate of 100 cross 100 dimensions and the thickness is 10 mm thickness of the plates not given in the drawing it is 10 mm so we are going to drill a hole of dia 10 mm the radius 5 as it's given so there are five holes as you see in the diagram so we go to the mm -hmm. nx so new model and you can you have to select the folder respective folder I have selected so we can name the part I'm going to name it as a drill drilling exercise so it's drill ok now we can go for the either extrude command or we can go directly to the block command so in the block command you have to already the point is selected so 100 100 10 just give ok this is our dimension so the blocks are created okay so in this we need to draw the holes okay so for this there is an option here in our home uh, tab there is an option called hold so you can directly go and select that option and we need to select place the hole here okay so before that we can go uh, give the whole diameter say I'm giving it as 10 mm okay so specific point of the hole it is asking so I have to specify this point like this here so what happens is that it will automatically take and another hole point I have to specify here in the center here and here so these are the five different holes I have selected then I can go for the depth limit for this I can give through body the option through body so instead of giving the depth this is a better option I can give through body now what I need to do is I need to specify these points properly for that I just go and double click this option or uh, select this uh, tab so here you can see the dimensions of the point what we can do is I can directly go and double click and modify this dimension it should be 25 okay so what about this dimension this is has to be 25 this will be 25 so I can see the diagram and then suitably modify the dimensions so here if you select this dimension so it is given as 85 actually for me it has to be 75 right and this will be 50 50 center hole 50. this also 50 so this will be 75 for me and then this will be uh, okay this will also be 75 so if you look at this dimension it has to be 25 and this dimension 75 yes. okay that's it so we are given the proper dimensions middle click you can come out of this so here you can give finish so we will get back to that original dialog box for hole okay so it is a simple hole through hole so we need not bother so apart from it you have several options here so you can also do a counter board counter sink or tear board any different types of code you can do so instead of simply going for a circle extrude this would be a better option okay give ok so now we have completed the design part simple as that so we, give, uh, we are going to save this part I just click, click save and then now we are going for the manufacturing process file new you can use the default uh, okay, sorry. Uh, you have to go for the manufacturing so you can select the first option prismatic milling and hole making automatically the name comes we can use that name itself you ok so as we go for the first operation what we do is we just go and click the geometric view and we just open up this and double click the workpiece first thing that we are going to do is specifying the workpiece our part so this is my part just clicking it ok now we have to give the raw material that is actually a uh, material will be removed and the simulation we can see that then only so go for the blank 
so in this you can select an option called bounding block okay so the holes will be filled up and uh, uh, the plate will come once again okay so here the display blank i need to uh, i can remove that okay because while selecting it may uh, visually it may uh, impair okay or it may cause disturbance okay so can you go okay okay so this is my first and foremost step okay so after selecting this geometric view if it's not there i have to uh, open up this uh, uh, coordinate system icon and then double click the workpiece select the workpiece and then the block and now i am ready for operation for that i may go for home command here home tab okay home tab and the operation that i am going to use is called as create operation okay create operation click that one so in that a uh, mill planner type we didn't look in the previous thing it is default is mill planner but here we need to do hole making so so for that you need to change this type itself as hole making then what are the subtype operations they'll come okay spot drilling is the first operation it is not the drilling so we need you should not select this we may go for directly for drilling operation okay so drilling just give okay so the other default values we can accept so tool first thing maybe we can select the tool okay go for the tool first one is the standard drill we may select this give okay the only thing that we are going to modify here is the diameter which is going to be 10 for us so give 10 mm, 10 mm and then here what we may do is we may also give a tool number so it's one is there i can give any tool number and just give it five it's okay and then we have to select this option called geometry okay geometry in this we need to select the workpiece because we have already defined the workpiece under this heading okay under mcs so you just give workpiece then it will automatically identify what is the workpiece what is the blank then we have to go for the main option once again we need to now select the cutting surfaces what is the final surface that we need to obtain for us here it is a, a, a drill hole okay so what do you what we what do we do is that you just click this option specify feature geometry click this option then you have to go and select the inner surface of the hole okay the face in the drill so it may take few seconds we need to wait for that because it is preparing a, <coughs> a simulation like this or a okay so after that we have to select this second hole face in the drill now after selecting this the first hole disappeared so you might think that maybe I have done something wrong I need to select back this hole again but it is not so because if you just scroll down you can see the list in which the first hole is selected the second hole is also selected now I am going to select the third one ok third hole done then fourth hole done Maybe by fourth hole. And yes, okay. So now I am selecting the fifth hole. Okay, be careful that we select this hole. Okay. Okay. So now all the five holes are selected. If you want, you can check from here. Okay. So like this, it is selected, and then you can give okay. Now everything is done. Okay, for me. So what I have to do is I have to go for this generate option and ask the cam software to generate the toolpath for me. Now it has generated the toolpath and it's okay for me. Then I have to go for the 3D verify operation. Okay. So here what we need to remember is that we will select this uh, 3D dynamic, 3D dynamic option and then we may reduce our animation speed and then play this. Okay. So we are satisfied with this operation and the link you ok and then you can give ok to the operation also you can find an ex exclamation mark here it's good ok so now the drilling is selected now we can go for this post uh, configurate option ok so this a dialog box will open like this you have to select a mill 3 axis 
So in CNC, we don't have a separate kind of a drilling machine. Drilling machine is going to do this operation for us. Mill three axis, okay. So now what here? Once again, we need to click this post process button. Click this. Then it's done for us. Okay. So automatically, our drilling program is given. Okay. So you save this file, and then for the record purposes, you can save it as a text document (txt). Rename drill. Okay. So in your uh, uh, folder. Okay. Then it's done. Close them. Close. So you double click this one. Click, you click and then you zoom it properly in view the option there is pan or oh sorry fit once again click this one to get this image okay so you can print screen for the record purpose okay so now it's done for us so hope you have understood this drilling operation thank you